Tonight, dozens of U.S. citizens are finally back in America tonight. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Angelina Salcido. Miranda has the night off. They were trapped in Afghanistan when the Taliban took control, but now they've been rescued thanks to a group in Tampa. Our Miguel Octavio shares why they say the mission was worth the risk. After months, the wait is over. It feels amazing to bring American citizens home, our countrymen. These are our neighbors. This weekend, 47 of those neighbors, stranded Americans and lawful citizens, are out of Afghanistan, <laughs> including this 11-month-old boy. Words really can't describe it, right? Because it's really, really, really hard to do. Army and Navy veteran Brian Stern co-founded Project Dynamo from his living room after the Taliban took over. It brought me right back to 9-11. Frankly, is the, the last time I saw people jump to their death, kind of got a little angry. Stern turned his frustration into action. And we don't leave people behind. Project Dynamo says it brought evacuees to a safe house near Kabul. They got vaccinations, food, water, and then a flight home. You're looking at your entire life in the West just falling apart while you're stuck here. Mohammed Mojadidi says his wife and four kids left Jacksonville for a family funeral in Afghanistan. They got trapped when the Taliban took over. And when you have four children, youngest being about 13, 14 months, and then you have a wife there as well, that becomes a little more terrifying. Despite the danger, Mojadidi went back to Afghanistan determined to bring them home. It took months, but tonight the entire family is back in the U.S., but other families are still stuck. I'm praying and I'm hoping that we'll all will be united. Abdul Wasit, also part of Project Dynamo, is determined to bring the rest home, including his mom and dad. As a service member, that's our job on duty, and I will keep on going. Now, Project Dynamo says it's rescued more than 2,000 Americans since the end of the U.S.-Afghan war. The U.S. says it's evacuated 124,000 people before the Taliban took over Afghanistan on August 30th. But how many U.S. citizens were left behind? Let's take a deeper dive.